You can now shoot with a Ricoh Theta Z1 in burst mode without a dual fisheye raw plug-in or the Android control app in full manual control if you wish. So in this example, you might want to shoot with a higher ISO and you can now do this. So for example, I'm going to choose ISO of 800. Next, I'll choose the AE bracket mode. I'll set my EV step to zero, so all my exposures are the same. So I'll set my number of shots to either seven or nine. I'm going to have to shoot two sets to get the number I need for RAW+. Plus. ISO adjustment with ISO off. I can set up a delay here, but I'll just leave it off. And you want to shoot in RAW. So I'll shoot and process my first set of nine. Let that process and shoot again for my second set. And let's look at some more options. I can actually shoot in full manual control if I want now. So for, for example, I'll leave my ISO at 800. I'll shoot at f5.6. And I'm going to choose a shutter speed that gives me a little bit of detail in the window. Even though the shadows will look blocked, I'll be able to bring them up after noise stacking in RAW+. Plus. Note that this is not a solution for deep window poles, but it's very often a good solution for dark scenes without a large amount of contrast. So after I've shot and processed two sets in full manual, we're going to take a look at the final result between a single image and a stacked image, and I'm using Teleport Me for the split screen effect. My name is Clay Moorhead, 360 Niagara, and if you check out my YouTube channel, I have more videos on how to process noise stacked images in RAW+. Thanks for watching.